sit there and watch it, all right? Help me! Help me! Rescue me! What is that? Some games? I must rescue them. Let's go save some games. Okay, wait there for mommy. Daddy said thank you for some shoes. This is where they have that video game store. Downstairs. I already go down on the Estabator. On the Estabator? Let's go on the Estabator. On the estivator. We are on the estivator. Is that game store, Mario. Alright, see you guys in a little bit. See if I can record in there. Bye, son. Back in ten minutes.
still closed.
do it, everybody. Now you know my secret identity. Super Samoan Sam. The Game Saver. Copyrighted. Game Saver. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was a really epic uh, intro to the video, right? But, um... Hang on just a second. Ta -da! My son wanted me to wear it. Uh, <laughs> guess I'll do the video like this. With that awful voice. Uh, found this thing at freaking uh, Savers. This will be the first thing I'm showing you, obviously. It doesn't really fit my face. But uh, I couldn't pass this up. This is too freaking awesome. Uh, this is a buck 99. Yeah, there you go. Buck 99. I don't know if I'll do the whole video with this thing because it kind of presses up against my nose. I've got a Samoan nose, all right? But uh, my son gets a kick out of this. Yeah, man, it's a little Sunday family outing. Went to a few stores. Oh, two, actually. Went to that uh, Mario game store. It's down in Provo. Uh, can't go there all the time because we live in Lehigh, Market Fork. A little bit of a drive. Um, I tried to get as much footage as I could. I, I didn't really want to be holding my phone out like this, you know, and the lady, you know, I didn't want her to, I didn't want her to be like, hey, uh, you can't record, yada, yada, yada. So I tried to be on a down low, you know, which basically is the reason why the footage really wasn't all that great, you know. Uh, she had some people come in, and that kind of gave me a, 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 like a little space to kind of record but then people would leave and it'd just be me and the lady in there so I was like you know what I'll just get what I can but um hopefully you guys saw some stuff they had some some uh pretty good games uh prices you know were low and then for some stuff and then really high for other stuff but again I don't really know too much about what they should be or what they shouldn't be which is why I wish I could have recorded I didn't want to ask her, be like, you know, sound like a, my son's going crazy now, sound all weird, and she's like, oh, why well, you want to record, but anyways, I did pick up some stuff from there, I gotta take this thing off, my nose is killing me, alright, I have to take that thing off, um, but like I was saying, I picked up some stuff from that um, game store, uh, a few things, Let's see, I got four games, one cart base, uh, GameCube and two PS2 games. Um, I, if I, I could have spent a lot more money in there, but I didn't want to. I would have gotten carried away. But total, all in all, for what I did uh, buy, or you know, total for everything was like sixty something bucks. So not bad, you know. So let me go ahead and show you what I did pick up from that uh, gaming store. First, let me show you this uh, NES game. Um, I couldn't pass this up. I don't have this game, and it might, and it's. I don't really know if it's rare or not. I don't really care. That's not the reason why I got it. I remember playing this as a kid with my brothers, which is why I got it. it brought back a lot of memories, and um, it's kind of weird. I need to look at the receipt now. I'm looking at this because there's two prices on here. One says $5.99, like on the top of the freaking game. On the front, it says $6.99, but. This is the game, not in the best shape, but I'll take it. Uh, Tecmo Wrestling, hopefully you can see that. Yeah, so I played this as a kid, so, you know, there's the uh, $6.99, and there's the uh, $5.99, if you can see that right there. Tecmo World Wrestling, yeah, so I got that. And then the two PS2 games that I picked up, uh, one was $29.99, and it's in really good shape. Uh, it's complete. Case is in really good shape. The game is, wow. Looks really, really good. And it's one of my favorite Nintendo characters. I could not pass this up. For $29.99 for the PS2, I got Mega Man X8, or however the hell you say that. I don't have this game. No, I do. There. Uh, game's in nice minty condition. The other. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought I had two PS2 games. 
uh, one NES game, one PS2 game, and two GameCube games. Um, I've never played this game before. I mean, not like I've ever had a GameCube growing up, but it just looked interesting. It's uh, for $7.99 for the GameCube. Uh, let me know if you guys have ever played this, what you think of it. Because uh, I don't know when I'll get around to uh, playing any of my old school stuff downstairs. But I got, for $7.99 for the GameCube, Freaky Flyers. It looks, it looks like a fun, it looks like a fun game. Uh, there's two discs, that's kind of cool. Not complete, but it's a two disc game. Sweet, I've never seen one like this before. So, uh, disc one, disc two, all right, so yeah. $7.99 for that guy. And I could not pass this up because I am a fan of these guys. I mean, who isn't when I show you, you know you know you know what I'm talking about. For $17.99 for the GameCube, I picked up TMNT Mutant Melee. Melee? Melee? <laughs> Not complete. Um but yeah, that's it for that Mario game store. A you know, nice little stack of games. Uh, let me look at the receipt. So I think she charged me $6.99 for the uh, NES game. Yeah. I wish I would have caught this and like, hey, is it $5.99 or $6.99? More than likely she would have been like, oh, $6.99. I don't know how that got up on there, but I don't really care. So I spent a total of $67.21. I probably could have spent more, but it's a good thing I didn't. <laughs> so that was from that store. Nice little additions to my collection downstairs. Now let me show you what I got from when we were at Savers. All right, so hang on. Alright, so not that much at Savers as well. Uh, for $1.99, still in the bag, but I got this uh, Mario Nintendo DS case. $1.99. Uh, of course, it's Mario, so you gotta get it right. I'll take it out of the bag later. And I actually found a GameCube game that was actually still in the case. Um, I don't have this game, it looks fun. Uh, I'll definitely play it whenever I get the chance. And that's uh, for $3.99. Super Bubble Pop for the GameCube. Yeah. And it is complete. And then the last two things I got are both PS1 games. I got this Black Label Motocross Mania. I don't think I have this for my PS1. It is complete. This has like minor wear and tear. And the last thing, um, I've, I've seen this before, but I've seen it as a PC game. Uh, this is the first one I've seen that is a PlayStation 2 game. Or a place, well, yeah, PS1 game. And that is uh, <laughs> Backyard Soccer. It's interesting. And it is complete and that's oh yeah and these were I believe these are like $2.99 uh, these two $2.99 each $3.99 $1.99 the reason why we were at the mall well to get out as a family and I need and I wanted to buy um, uh, some shoes just to get out I'm not gonna show you my shoes there's no reason for that but that's it you guys quick little video hope you guys enjoyed it hope you guys enjoyed uh, the little intro it's my secret identity now you guys know uh, so don't worry I will save these games game saver copyrighted <laughs> but um, it's probably already a game saver out there right but anyways thanks for watching like comment subscribe hope you guys are having a good rest of the Sunday Mondays are on the corner and uh, yeah guys, take care and I'll see you in the next one.